Hello, we're gonna be talking about overcoming your ego today. <laughs> and we're gonna be talking about this YouTube video in particular. So what I typically do for my lives and workshops is I will go on TikTok and I will talk about, you know, esotericism, <laughs> metaphysicalism, okay? And I will post a replay on YouTube. And I have been utilizing that kind of as a crutch because I can interact with people and read the comments. And I love that. Like, I love hearing in real time the responses and the feedback that people are giving and being able to answer their questions. But on some level, it's been preventing me from doing longer form content on YouTube because I don't have that level of interaction on here when I'm just creating a video. <laughs> and a little of that scares me because it means that I have to get in a certain like flow state and that I have to channel, you know, for my higher self and source and all this stuff. And I'm kind of discounting myself in my abilities. And my higher self has kept on saying like, hey, we should really make more videos on YouTube. Like even today, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go do a TikTok live. And I was like, mm, we need to override the fears the imposter syndrome, right? Because that's another thing that's been coming up for me is I talk a lot through my own personal experiences, like what I'm currently going through and the revelations that I've just had and the consciousness expansion and the trauma that I've just released. And like, that's a lot of what my social media content is. And there's still a part of me that thinks that people don't want to hear that, right? that it sounds egotistical, like I'm always talking about myself. And what I've realized is I am a collective consciousness reader. <laughs> and so I tap into the collective grid and experience things a little bit before the collective. So that way I can talk about my experiences and it gives people tangible like evidence and it pulls it down from like esoteric and makes it more uh, human based. So you can take those tools and resources with you and implement them into your own life and then go out into the world and have your own changes because you heard it through a different perspective lens and can kind of give you a sneak preview as to what's coming for the majority of people. But I've been discounting myself and saying like, oh, no, that's egotistical. <laughs> right? No, it's just part of my gift. And that's great. We love that. Okay. And there's some level of like consciously, I know that's my gift. But then there's all this other trauma stuff that I lived through in my life that said like, oh, make yourself small. Like, um... I'm narrow spicy, light worker empath. I haven't always fit in. I call myself like the rainbow sheep. And sometimes I have been ostracized for that. Or I have been demonized for that. And so I still have some of those uh, energetic cords that are running through my business and my current day. Right? And so that's where doing things like this, like making this YouTube video <laughs> and pushing through that fear and not letting those past narratives like snag me up are so vitally important. And like here, there's a timer running and it's three minutes. <laughs> okay. And I got to a point just, just now in like real time where I was like, oh, what's my next topic? Okay. Tripping my own self up. That's fine. Like, it's okay to sit in the silence and readjust and realign. Not only if you're making content, but just in life. <laughs> okay? Sometimes we need to take a pause and take a breath. And so we're all going to take a breath together. Okay, here we go. Okay, I want y'all to see in real time. Like, I make a ton of content and I still get nervous and anxious. And sometimes I don't know what I'm going to say next. And that's totally fine. So, as somebody who does this full time, <laughs> I want you to see, like, again, with the collective consciousness thing. Like, this is something that I experience and other people experience too. You get better the more you do it. Like, I've been talking for like four minutes now and just talking, 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 talking. <laughs> right? But is it the most cohesive Oh, uh, maybe not because I'm a little nervous and that's fine. Okay. I don't have my TikTok people that are commenting back that I can kind of like ping off of and keep it going. So this is fine. Okay. So talking about pauses in life, 
So I have been wanting to make some changes in my business structure, right? Like I have a uh, free offer and it is uh, getting more clients in your business. It's a like guide that's kind of like falling out of resonance and I want to do something new. The new thing that I want to do is uh, expanding your wealth consciousness, becoming a wealth magnet. And I also want to launch my second group coaching program, Boss Babes Inspire. And I have been procrastinating on it. Okay? <laughs> and I have been beating myself up about it. And it's been causing me a lot of anxiety because I'm like, I want to do it. Why is it not coming through? I'm like, I'm ready. I've already launched these things. Like, what's the snag? What's the hang up? And this morning I got on the treadmill and I realized it's just not time yet. Like I'm putting all this immense pressure and I'm going through all of these consciousness shifts and like, I still have to have a level of awareness that I want to pull down and share with people. Like I haven't fully integrated the things to share and that's totally fine and that's not procrastinating like sometimes our ego will tell us like hey <laughs> like you need to be doing this and blah 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 if you want to be successful and the opposite is true in this case it's like no we need to sit in the void space so we can fully integrate those things in so that it's more impactful for people when we put it together and that's okay <laughs> like there's nobody like rushing me to do it is my own self. Those are wounds that are coming up from like perfectionism and am I good enough? Am I doing enough? Right? I have always been like a super inspired action queen. Okay. Like I'll be taking this, but people are like, how do you get all this stuff done? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm always doing, but sometimes doing doesn't work. Like I've come to a place in my business and my life where I have hustled and grinded it out and found a lot of success and that's no longer working anymore because my higher self and my guide team are trying to get me to understand like hey that works in the old earth paradigm that doesn't work in the new paradigm like the new paradigm that you want to move into is like everything flows effortlessly and easily we're more focused on like intrinsic shifts not saying not to do action steps because the action steps are important but if your frequency is not right <laughs> okay no high or low vibe okay like i'm not about that but you need to align with the thing that you're trying to do first so that you can download the easier steps. And so I have been seeing where I've been having a lot of behavioral patterns that are not serving me. And I recognize them. I'm aware of them. But I'm still continuing to do those behaviors. Like um, I've been doom scrolling on TikTok a lot. And I'll be doom scrolling knowing that I need to get off. But I'll just continue to do it. And this morning I realized it's because of the anxiety of the pressure I'm putting on myself for those things in my business. It's like I'm um, using it as like a numbing behavior. And it's so weird because I'm like up here watching myself do it. <laughs> and I'm like, you need to stop. And I'm like, I don't want to hear that, right? <laughs> uh, kind of like me being the higher self and the current me at the same time. And one of my clients just made a video about uh, behavioral patterns and how sometimes it takes a little while for you to let go of a behavioral pattern, but then we like beat ourselves up when you're aware of it and saying like, you need, like, you know, you shouldn't be doing this. Right? And that's, and that's kind of where I've been. And it's okay if you're still in the process of letting go of that. Because sometimes you don't know why you're doing it. And if you don't know why you're doing it, it's harder to let it go. And when I was on the treadmill this morning, I was like, oh, okay. Now I see the correlation. I see that I have been really stressed and anxious about my productivity. And I have been numbing through TikTok scrolling, right? And now it's going to be a little bit easier for me to let go. Because if I go to pick up my phone and doom scroll, I can say, hey... Are we doing this because we're anxious about this? And if it's a yes, then I can redirect and we go do something else, 
right? Like something that is maybe more beneficial for my mental health, like working out, getting on Duolingo and picking back up my Spanish lessons <laughs> or reading a book or doing some journaling, right? Something that's going to like fill my cup back up because doom scrolling, like sometimes you'd be tricking yourself and saying like, oh, I'm learning because a lot of my content on TikTok that I watch is spirituality content and like mental health and coaching stuff to like help other people. But after a certain precipice point, it's like, you're just doing this because you're trying to numb. <laughs> okay. So just ask yourself, like, am I tricking myself <laughs> when you're doing said behavioral patterns? Um, and my, one of the things I've been working through is filling up my own cup before I try and quote unquote help other people and support other people because I hit like this really deep uh, stalemate in my business where things were like coming to a halt and I couldn't figure out why that was and it turns out I was tricking myself telling myself I was filling up my cup by like making content and doing no I was not taking care of myself like I should be 11 11 on my timer here <laughs> I was not taking care of myself like I should so like, let's say today, for example, I would typically put off working out until later in the day, like keep pushing it and pushing it. And then I would end up not doing it. Right. And then I would probably get on a TikTok live. I would make content. I would check on my clients, you know, all this stuff. And today I woke up and I said, we're not doing thoughts. I said, I'm making a different choice against my behavioral patterns. And so I did some EFT tapping. I uh, listened to some like motivational stuff. I went and worked out and I felt a million times better. And my content on TikTok has been taking off. Like I've been getting like way more views, <laughs> but that's because I have been taking care, better care of myself recently. I have been going on more nature walks. I've been drinking a ton of water. I have been staying on top of my prosperity and abundance rituals. I have been, you know, just like implementing these new things and not succumbing to my numbing behavioral patterns that I've exhibited in the past. TikTok doom scrolling is the next one that <laughs> I'm working on. But when you are a spiritual content creator or an energy healer coach, your energy is infused into everything. Like it's infused into my content, how I work with my clients, uh, how I build my website, <laughs> like it's in everything. And if I'm not functioning at my most optimal rate, like staying up too late, eating a ton of junk food, <laughs> right? It comes across and it really does affect everything. And not to put like too much pressure on myself or too much pressure on you. It's just like you are your business if that's the case. Right. And we don't need to beat ourselves up and berate ourselves for our behavioral patterns. Cause again, sometimes it just takes a little time to let go of them and readjust. And, you know, we just need to keep asking ourselves, are the things that I'm doing in alignment with the person that I want to become? Because sometimes that will help me in the middle of a behavioral pattern. I will say, would higher self me throw their shirt on the floor? Would higher self me let those dishes sit in the sink. Would higher self me be doom scrolling right now? And do I catch it every time? No. Sometimes I'll be ignoring <laughs> myself. But ask yourself, would higher self me do this in this moment? Sometimes that will help you readjust, realign, right? And what I meant um, a minute ago, I want to backtrack a little bit of you or your business is if you're into like being an energy healer or a coach, like you are your business. It's not like a brick and mortar. <laughs> it's not like you're out here like selling products. It's literally like you aligning your energy with your dream clients because that's the ultimate goal. You know, having a spiritual business is like working one-on-one -on -one with people. Oh, there's this beautiful cardinal over here. <laughs> like chirping. I hope y'all can hear it. Um, you are aligning with the frequency to meet them on their frequency and then pull them through the etheric field through your content and your workshops and your lives. And not all things are meant to pull in clients. Like sometimes I'll just be making content and doing stuff because it's fun and whimsical and magical and great. Okay. And I want to share and like communicate with people and have a good time. Like that's part of it too. Um, but if you do make money 
<laughs> from connecting with people and helping them like transform in their lives. Like your frequency has to be at a certain vibration in order to be the leader <laughs> for said people, right? And so if I'm not staying on top of the things that I need to be doing, my frequency is going to be off and then I'm not going to align with the people that I'm meant to align with because I need to be doing those things as the leader, right? Um, hold on one second. Drink some water today. Um, but I wanted to talk about just some of the things that I'm going through and experiencing because I, I have found that it's very beneficial, like I said, for people to hear from somebody else what they're going through. Because hearing things in different perspective lenses can help you open up your conscious awareness, right? And it's very validating to hear that somebody's going through what you're going through. And that, like I said, again, is where some of my imposter syndrome was coming up and saying, like, nobody wants to hear. Yes, they do. Like, my business is built on that. <laughs> okay, like, I literally make content just talking about here's what's going on with me and then I pull in clients that way or grow my social media but there's still that thing running in the background that's saying like no nobody wants to hear that yes they do and they want to hear from you too if you've been thinking about making content um so I think that's all I have for this morning um I'm really glad that I made this video like again I said uh with the anxiety of coming on just impromptu and not having kind of like bullet points or a structure like there was a fear in that um but sometimes you just got to push through the fear you got to override on top of the imposter syndrome because imposter the only way you can heal through imposter syndrome is to put yourself in a situation that you can prove your capabilities to self like it doesn't just go away <laughs> Okay, and something that I've done is gotten used to feeling nervous and anxious. Like anytime I do uh, workshops or lives or one-on-one um, -on -one sessions with people, like clients, like I get nervous. Like my armpits get sweaty. I feel kind of panicky. I feel kind of nauseous <laughs> and to varying degrees, right? It depends on what we're doing. Uh, but I just got used to feeling that way. Like, even before I made this video right now, I was like, oh, I don't really know what I'm going to talk about. I don't have a st structure. I don't have bullet points. And my higher self is like, good, that's the point. The point is you need to get on <laughs> and just talk <laughs> and work it out. Because the only way that you get better at things is by practicing. And, like, I've already mastered doing TikTok lives and doing like Zoom group sessions with people and like all that stuff. But what I haven't mastered yet is just coming on and like free, free talking. Okay. Longer than like a TikTok video, three minutes. <laughs> okay. Wait, now we're at 18 minutes <laughs> and uh, I know there's some nuggets of wisdom in here. Like even just now I had a self limiting belief, like just now real time say, uh, you, you weren't really like talking cohesively and people aren't going to be able to track what you're saying and all this. I'm like, no, I know that there are nuggets of wisdom in here and somebody needed to hear this chat. Maybe it's you, <laughs> but somebody needed to hear it exactly the way I said it. And I am still learning how to edit YouTube videos, right? Like just editing in general. I'm not going to edit this. Like, I don't need to edit it. And one of the reasons is because I want people to see, especially like new content creators, it's better to do the thing than be perfect and not do it. Because that used to trip me up so much in my business. It's like, well, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. I got to wait to figure. No, you don't. Like, literally just do it. <laughs> because you will get better. If y'all went and looked at my TikTok uh, account and scroll all the way to the bottom and then looked at those videos, you'd be like, this is a whole different person <laughs> than one that I make now. Like I would struggle to make like a 60 second video and, and now I can get on like uh, lives and workshops and stuff and talk for like two hours and just be talking, talking, talking. I make TikTok videos all day long, just about whatever. It's very easy, right? No, no nervousness about that. But now, switching over to YouTube and doing something like this, nervous, anxious, because it's new. But the only way you get better at it <laughs> is by 
putting it into practice and not letting your imposter syndrome get the best of you and believing in your capabilities and figuring it out along the way. Um, so now we're at 20 minutes. I'm very excited. Okay. Uh, so hopefully this helps somebody today. If so, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear um, if any of these things stuck out to you or helped you have perspective shifts. Uh, remember to give a, a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful day. And I believe in you. You're amazing, awesome, courageous, brave, bold if you need to hear that from someone and I'm sending you a big etheric hug to you and your inner children um, and I will see you later bye